Welcome back friends, this is Purvik from Elro Developer. In this tutorial, I will show you that how you will store your application useful data in the separate XML file by using the shared preferences. That data which, which you require every time when your application starts. So let's begin with that tutorial. Let's create a new Android project. Give the application appropriate name. Let's say register, um, register demo. Uh, give the package name equal to in dot lro dot register demo uh, choose your minimum SDK requirements target SDK requirement and compatible compilable SDK requirement go to next next uh, choose the appropriate clip card clip art icon I will choose this one mm, let's click on the next uh, these are the basic configuration setting that you have to do all the time whenever your wherever you build your application android application so just choose the layout it's api 19 okay so it is there now we have to first build up the uh, layout for our activity so just take a medium text view over here uh, just take a text field over here uh, for the just below the text view uh, like saying just keep them align parent with next just take another text view below that edit text take another text field for the password just below that text view uh, keep the width of that views to the parent so they can be floatly look as the width of the screen uh, add text and say it's a username for the text view one say it's okay next for the next text view click on set the text as a password let's click on ok mm, give the proper ids to the edit text fields edit id just right click on that i will give that as a user underscore name uh, password as a edit id is equal to p password uh, now on the button click event I will initiate one method so just go to XML file click on on click and let's say the method name is the register method so this is the layout that we have completed now just go to the source folder in the main activity dot Java just build your workspace first so all the resources will be available to Java file mm fetch the details like uh, initiate uh, declare edit text uh, uname and password pwd uh, next create a variable private set preferences equal preference okay next private string preference okay username you have to set the two string fields private string username equal to user underscore name and private just copy that thing and just paste it over here the same for the password just change the string name equal to password and the string will be pwd now below the preferences you have to give the preferences name so just create a string private string preference name pr preference name equal to in the double quotes just write my preference so that will be your xml file name whichever you are going to store for your particular application now just below the content view uh, just fetch the resources u name equal to find view by id r dot id dot username uh, and next for the password pwd equal to find view by id r dot id dot uh, password just typecast these two things to the edit text field as it view suggests next thing we have to initialize that register method so just below that just declare one method public method public white register give the arguments as a view 
because we are working on the pattern view so just take that as a view import the android view now preferences equal to that preferences that we have declared over there preferences equal to get set preferences uh, the name will be as the preference name that we have given already and the mode will be the mode equal underscore private so that will be the private mode of accessing the set preferences for our application next thing we have to initiate one editor so set preferences dot editor editor the name of the object of editor equal to preference dot edit so it will use to write in the set preference xml file so next thing we will write the data in that one so editor dot put string the key value will be the username and the value will be the text username that user has edited in the username field so we will get that text by using uname dot get text dot to string the same for the password we will use that one just copy that thing and just paste it over just make the key value equal to password and value will be the from the password that user have entered in the activity so that is the thing and the last we have to commit this all transactions so just editor dot commit so it will commit your transaction and save your data in the xml file so just run your application uh, just wait for the few times uh, here it is just provide the username let's say Android developers and password equal to let's say Elro develop I'll just click on the button okay I refuse to set the text for the button just click on the button for checking the XML file just go to the DMS that over there and go to file explorer over here go to data in that data folder uh, you have to locate the particular folder of your application name so that is in dot elro dot register demo over here just explore that and you will see the set preferences over there just open that you will see the my preference dot xml file if you you have to copy that to the desktop so just pull a file from the phone to the desktop just uh, save that file on the desktop uh, now look at that fi file contents so just go to the desktop uh, just click on open that particular file uh, as you can see the username and password are already stored in this particular file the same that user has inputted over there okay so now we will retrieve this content in our next view so we will define a text view over there and we will get these two values in our application okay first change the text of that button just give it the button text as the register now below that button just take another button uh, give it the text as a get detail just take a two text view below that button make the text view with as the same as the match parent let's say the full float to the width of the activity edit the id for that particular let's say you name underscore view and give the text as a clear view so no string will be appear over there when your application starts now another text view over there the same configuration that you have made for the previous text view you have made for these text views uh, just edit the appropriate id and edit the appropriate text just clear the text from that text view so right click on that one uh, clear the text from that one then right click and give the id equal to pwd underscore view now this is the layout that we have configured very well uh, now just for the button on click event just define one on click method uh, let's say get detail now just copy this method name go to my activity dot java uh, below the register just define one method public method return type equal to void name equal to get detail and parameters will be view view now define the two text views over there text view uh, for the username and for the password so you name underscore view and another will be the password pwd underscore view 
next thing just fetch the resources from the id so unum underscore view equal to find view by id r dot id dot u just copy this ids from over here just paste it over there uh, the same for the password the pwd underscore view equal to find view by id r dot id dot pwd underscore okay pwd just type cast this over here next view okay we have to build up this thing so okay so all the resources are fetched over here now in the get detail method just define a preference equal to uh, get set preference uh, the preference name will be the p preference name and the mode will be the mode underscore private so it will get the preference in the preference uh, next thing we have to set the values so you name underscore view dot set text uh, equal to uh, just say preference dot get string uh, that first thing get string equal to username and the default value will be the blank value and the same for we have password we have to define that password pwd underscore view set text equal to preference get strings the key value is called password and the default value will be the null now just execute your application and wait for the few seconds to load up it give the appropriate username let's say developer alro and the password will be the alro tutorial now register that so it will just get that in the xml file and when you click the get details it will fetch that both the register to this text views now just change the username and change the password some bit and just click on the register again and click on the get detail again so you can see that it will fluidly change your data when it saves that data in the xml file and fetch the data from the xml file so this is it how you will so this is it how you will store your app uh, application needed information in the separate xml file for your particular application and you can set that file mode to the private so it can only be readable by your application so this is the tutorial how you will set your application private data in the separate xml file and you can access this data whenever you want to access that data when you load your application next time like say if you want to set the color parameters or the value parameters like the username and the password or you will register something you will change the font size you will set the default wallpapers and you will set the default settings for your particular application so that thing you can store in that xml file by using the set preferences and whenever you open your application next time that that all saved data you will retrieve from that xml file and just make the settings of your application just like you have saved before so this is it how you will use the set preferences to store the your application private data so thanks for watching this tutorial just like and comment for our better improvisement for the next tutorials and keep subscribe for our channel thank you very much